Hello everybody and welcome to Metal Mondays on Weird Spins. I'm getting this one out a little bit late at the last second, probably a click before midnight. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and throw something together. It's been a kind of a busy week. Uh, this is a band that uh, I've known of for quite some time. I first heard of them back in the 90s. Uh, they were a New Orleans based band and I met uh, one of the original members there, Glenn Rambo, who tragically died. Uh, in the flooding of New Orleans when the levees broke. Uh, this band is a really good Silent Green, very technical extreme metal band, grindcore variety. And they did three or four albums in a single. Uh, prior to this album, this was the last album they did in 2008. I don't think that they've broken up or anything. The current lineup, I'm not aware. Uh, but uh, even though this was a transition with there having been some lineup changes, there having been two members who had died, uh, you still have a new album transitioning from Relapse over to Metal Blade and with all of the ferocity and technicality of their other albums. So it's a very, very good grindcore album. has the beautiful artwork on the sleeve. The sleeve is a trifold, so there's a lot going on in there. And remember, did we have anything special in the interior? I think it came with the little card for getting your digital. And that was about it on that for the packaging. The copy I got from Metal Blade, and this is out of print, but they're still around, I think. A lovely translucent sort of emerald green color fitting for the band being named Soylent Green. Uh, spelled slightly differently from the movie title. <laughs> Just slightly. But uh, it is a very, very good album. El elements of blues sneak into it. There's one moment in it where you expect to hear it go into a banjo breakdown at any moment. And other than that, it's just chugging and going through all of these time signature changes and key changes and the vocals are erratic and they're screamed and growled and everything in between so definitely this is a good album to have i would recommend at least go online listen to a couple of cuts if you're into extreme metal check them out if you haven't before it's a, a very very nice piece of work and a very beautiful package as well so that's it. This is a really quick Metal Mondays, and I'll be back with another one next week. See you real soon.